Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. So on this video, I will be reviewing the new Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint. So this retails for 66 Canadian dollars for 35 ml and I'm not surprised with how much everything costs now. It's more on the pricey side but again, a lot of foundations are on that price range nowadays or skin tints. This skin tint claims to instantly boost skin's moisture level by 52% for a dewy glow. It also claims to visibly plump and smooth the skin. It's supposed to be lightweight with comfortable and sheer coverage, providing all-day hydration and comfortable all-day wear. And the formula includes 94% naturally derived ingredients, so the skin should look renewed and healthier and it's also non-comedogenic, vegan, and cruelty-free. This skin tint also features four key skincare ingredients. The meadow foam seed oil, hyaluronic acid, plant-based squalene, and naturally derived rambutan blend. And if you're from a tropical country, I'm from the Philippines, rambutan is such an amazing fruit. It's like a lychee. The flavor is not too overly sweet like the lychee it's just amazing so i always know rambutan as a fruit but i've never seen it as a skincare ingredient in any makeup so i'm very curious how it performs with this skin tint looking at this skin tint i really thought that it would be bigger for 66 canadian dollars but it looks fairly small but i love the packaging i love the gold detail it's very light and i like that it's in a squeeze tube let's open it up so i got the shade color 7 which is described to be for light medium warm undertones okay so let's open it up because there's a lot of new formulation now not just with skin tints foundation even for blushes why i always try to go on the website and try to read how the product is to be used properly and on the hourglass website they said that to use this you have to blend it with your fingertips or a sponge and then you have to make sure to shake the bottle and then pour a dime size amount onto your fingertips from the product on your hands and then press it into your skin starting from the center of your face around your nose your chin and forehead before blending it to the outer perimeter of your face so that's what i'm going to do on my right side i'm going to use my fingers and then on my left side i'm going to use my brush but let's see how it works on my fingers first so a dime size amount well half my face i'm going to do a half a dime so that's how it looks like so to warm it on your f oh it's it feels kind of milky i thought because it's supposed to really give you that glow i thought it's gonna be oily but actually it's more like a milky consistency so let's press it in the center of my face focusing the forehead chin nose and then blend it on the outer if you've tried squalene in your skincare that's how it feels like it feels like a serum but it really glides on easily this is with one layer i feel like my skin especially with skin tint really absorbs the product easily so I can see the glow, but I don't see a lot of evening out on my skin tone. Like I can still see the redness on my face and it just looks like a moisturizer now. So I'm not going to press it on my face. I feel like I am just going to really apply it and like distribute it. When I press it on my skin, my skin just really absorbed the skin tint and that's what usually happens, so that wouldn't work for me. Okay, now I can see the coverage and I can see that it's really evening out my skin tone. Because it's just giving a sheer 
veil of coverage I think that it can only go to a light coverage on my skin almost medium so this is the side with the skin tint and this is the side with that with two layers you can really see that it evened out my skin tone my face really looks glowy like look at that glow and i love that the skincare and the pigments are really blended together because sometimes when your skin tint is very emollient like this the pigment sometimes separates from the skincare ingredients and you'll see like dots but this one it's really blended in so it really applied evenly on my face and i can really feel the moisture on my face i can really feel that it really hydrated my face and i also knew it because the first time i applied it on my skin really like soak it up so i know that it has that hydrating properties and it's really giving me that healthy glow so that my face has the illusion of it being smooth even though i have a lot of texture it doesn't actually highlight that because i think the pigment doesn't separate and doesn't sink into my pores especially on this side where i have a lot of big pores it actually doesn't highlight those big pores so far it's really giving me a healthy natural look on the face so let's go on to my left side and let's use a brush this time so i'm going to put the skin tint directly on my face because i don't want it to be absorbed by the brush and then i'm going to oh i think i put too much anyways i'm going to distribute it first and pat it with my fingers before i blend it with a brush i really like how this skin tint feels on my skin it actually feels a little cooling feels very light on so what do you think of the shade i think it's pretty spot on i think number seven is really my shade for the skin tint if you're an nc30 or if you have been following me on my past videos with my past shades i think that you should go one shade down if you're still on that nc30 shade but i'm a little tan now and i think that number seven is the perfect shade for me i think that if you are going for a no makeup makeup look this is a good option for you it really made my skin glow it's very hydrating on very light on it just really feels like i put on a skincare product i don't feel like i'm wearing makeup and i've already mentioned this but i really like how the pigments are not separating it really looks invisible on but it did really help in evening out my skin tone i don't see redness on my face anymore i know that my hyperpigmentation and my blemishes are still peeking through but i don't really expect this skin tint to cover all of that because it is a skin tint it's supposed to be just a light to medium coverage but i like that even though i have like a drying pimple here it doesn't cling to that and it just really used into my skin so beautifully now i'm going to finish my makeup and i'm just going to put a really light makeup on so i'm back and i finished my makeup and the only product that didn't go well on top of this foundation is my concealer because it is a thicker in consistency i find that it's really not blending well on top of this foundation like you can really tell that i have concealer on because it's not pretty well blended on top and then when i put powder on it looks kind of heavy so that's the only thing other than that i've used very thin product on top and i really kept it simple because i feel like with skin tints it's really perfect for a like a no makeup makeup look so i just used my makeup by mario barely blushing blush this also gives you that soft veil of color so it really complemented the glowy look of the foundation and then to set everything i also went with my charlotte tilbury airbrush 
powder which gave the skin tint a little more coverage because it has a little tint to it. So far I'm really liking this skin tint. I love how light it is on my face but at the same time I can feel that it's very hydrating that my face is so soft and I also like that even though it's a glowy skin tint it doesn't transfer. I was worried that when I was working with my eye I was worried that it will create that finger mark you know when your skin tint is very dewy every time like your finger press on it it will move and it will create that mark but this one didn't so like i can still touch my face and it doesn't move the skin tint so so far i'm really loving it now let's see how it looks like on natural light I'm also going to show you how it looks like on flash photography and non-flash photography. The biggest test now is the wearability test. Because I have combination skin, I really get oily on my T-zone and most of the time with my skin tints, it really makes me look extra oily especially if it is a moisturizing hydrating skin tint so let's see how it performs throughout the day so i'm back and this is the eight hour wear of wearing the hourglass hydrating skin tint and as you can tell i'm very oily especially in my forehead on the top of my nose and the side of my face so i didn't set this with any setting spray i just set it with a light powder so i was kind of expecting this to happen but i'm really oily and this is not too much for me when it comes to coverage i think the coverage is a lot less now. Now it looks like I just put on a moisturizer. I could also see some redness peeking through, especially in the side of my nose. But overall, I like how this skin tint feels throughout the day. It was very comfortable on. It really feels like nothing on. And my face feels very moisturized throughout the day. I have this little gadget here. It's supposed to test the oil on your skin, the water, and let's see how moisturizing this skin tint really is. This skin tint claims to boost your moisture level by 52%. So let's test it out. So based on this little gadget, it says that the water on my skin is 45%. Oil is 39, elasticity 55, and skin age 23. Oh wow. So I'm not too sure how reliable this gadget is, but if I'm basing it on how my skin feels, it really feels like I put on a fresh moisturizer. Even though I put the skin tint eight hours ago, it really feels very moisturizing. And even on this side where I am not oily, it doesn't look dry at all. It really looks like I put on moisturizer on. So I'm giving this skin tint a four out of five stars. I think that if you are very oily, I think you would need to powder and touch up throughout the day. But based on what this skin tint claims to be, it did really melt and blended onto my skin beautifully. It feels nothing on and it was very comfortable on throughout the day. It evened out my skin tone and I love that it doesn't lay flat on the skin. So it gave me that healthy glow. And because of that glow, my skin appeared smoother. If you are looking for a moisturizing skin tint, I think that you would really love this Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint. But if you have oily skin, I think that you need to really powder your face. But here's the thing. Since this is a very moisturizing skin tint and it's a thin consistency, you really have to find a powder that's also very thin and not heavy or else it will look cakey on your face. So I think that if you're very, very oily, I think that you should explore other skin tints. But again, if you have oily combination or normal to dry skin, I think that this would work for you. I've also purchased the Danessa Myricks 
Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. So if you want me to compare this to skin tints, just comment down below. I'll be happy to do that. Thank you so, so much, Dallas, again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new video is out. Until next time. Bye.